Welcome to a achievement run in Europa Universalis 4. I'm going for the achievement A Hero's Welcome, which requires you to start as Caraman and form the Sultanate of Arum. And to make that happen, you need to beat one of the strongest nations in the game, which is the Ottomans. I'm Aether, this channel is Aether Gaming, and if you haven't been here before, make sure to press that subscribe button. In the past, the channel has focused a lot of fo on Football Manager, but I love EU4, I have over 2000 hours myself in the game, and I've been longing to make this series. So let's roll. So uh, we are starting as Caraman, and uh, our leader is complete garbage. But uh, I mean, we wanted a challenge, don't we? And, and I think that's a brilliant way for me to myself to get into the EU4 content creating way, starting with a big, big challenge like beating the Ottomans as a small, weak nation of Caraman. And um, yeah, looking here um, for the achievement to form a room, you can see the provinces needed. And uh, it's not enough to just conquer these provinces from, from one of the strongest nations in the game. We also need to make them not exist. So we need to conquer these provinces and we need to annihilate the Ottomans. And uh, I mean, the Ottomans is very strong. I mean, they have an insane leader compared to our complete garbage one. Um, but yeah, we, we are here for the challenge. Now let's see who would like to be our friends. And I would say uh, the key things for us to succeed with this one, we need uh, the Mamluks on our side. And we need for the Ottomans to attack uh, Albania first. Because um, if they do and uh, Venice guarantee them, uh, I would say that's uh, that's our chance to try to backstab them when they, when they are busy fighting both uh, Venice and, and, uh, and Albania. But yeah, we're going to start improving with um, the Mamluks, try to make them our friends, see if we can get our course back. And we're also going to try to see if we can go for... Uh, some of our neighbor, neighboring nations here, because uh, I mean, uh, every land we can take it will make us stronger and uh, improve our chances to uh, to get where we want to be. Um, yeah, let's see, who wants to be our friend? Uh, we're not going to go with the Dokadir because we are planning to hopefully conquer them. And maybe, maybe the Great Horde could be an option. Of course, they're probably going to be uh, butchered by uh, Moscovy later on. But for now, th this early on, they, they could be a a good ally, helping us just to uh, scare off uh, some, um, some of uh, our neighbors. And even maybe that will help the Ottomans focus on somebody else uh, other than us uh, early on. So let's see, uh, rivals. Um, I think we go for AQ, and then I think I'm gonna wait. We don't need to pick another rival right now. Um, we want to change our mil focus to military because we are going for an for an early war here, and um, the money we're probably going to do everything we can to to save money here in the beginning. We um, we kind of can't support our army. Uh, let's see what we can get from uh, the states. Um, yeah, let's let's work some magic here because uh, we want to get those uh, monarch points. See what we um, can come up with. But yeah, uh, if you haven't been here before, as I said earlier on, I'm Aether and uh, the main focus of this channel have been Football Manager, but I love EU4 and I've been playing it uh, for an insane amount of hours. So it just felt right, right to start creating content for it. And of course, if you are one of my uh, Football Manager viewers, uh, EU4 is a grand strategy game and um, you start back in the year 1444 and then you more or less build your own history, changes uh, history the way it's been. It's kind of a sandbox where you could, could do whatever. Uh, I usually, or at least pretty often, go for achievements like I do right now with the Sultanate of Rome, uh, Heroes Welcome. But you can kind of do whatever, start with a minor province in, in, in Ireland and then form Ireland and then conquer Great Britain and then make uh, Ireland great again or, or something like that. But yeah, um, I think, let's see, I would like to sell ships. 
but first, these two guys. I think uh, privateering probably going to be most profitable. Uh, I think we should go for Constantinople, even though even if they it isn't the biggest alternative that gives us the most money, because I just want to annoy the, the Ottomans. And uh, the Great Horde is our friends. We have unpaused the game now. Let's see here. We are not going to take any alliance that might pull us into a war with uh, with the Ottomans. And it's kind of kind of a gamble right now, because as I said, we need uh, we need the Mamluks to become our friends. But we also need the Ottomans. Right now, we have a peace deal with them. Uh, but we need the Ottomans to attack somebody else before they go. We kind of, they're probably going to go for uh, uh, Byzantine first. But after that, it's kind of an, an open board. As soon as uh, our peace deal is off. And we really need them to go for, uh, for Albania first. Because if they are at war with Albania and Venice, that could be our chance to bring in the Mamluks and maybe just maybe manage to steal a few provinces. But it is, it is a risky move. I mean, we are up against Ottomans uh, and they are so strong. So this could be a, end up to be a very embarrassing, very short series when, when basically I make a fool of myself trying to pretend that I know EU4 and then the Ottoman just rolls up and uh, it's game over. Uh, I would like to take a set of our neighboring provinces too. Uh, we are fabricating claims and uh, it would be a uh, very good for us because uh, I mean we need everything we can get uh, to to become stronger I think I'm going to focusing on uh, on uh, the legal side here when it comes to to the religion just to get the money because we are in some um, some uh, financial problems right now but yeah if we could take our neighboring provinces that that would definitely help make us uh, stronger. Uh, afford more uh, soldiers uh, and get more money. Uh, but uh, let's see if we can sell on some ships here because we are desperate for money. The problem is right now I think that nobody likes us and uh, let's literally split these ones up so we can get smaller stacks and, and easy to see what they want. I don't want to sell my cogs because if we get a chance we want to take on Cyprus I'm going to need our cogs for that, uh, but uh, I am willing to, to sell on my, my galleys right now if we can get it. But I don't think anybody is our friends right now. Nobody likes us, which means uh, they don't want to buy our ships, not even the Ottomans, of course. Uh, maybe maybe we could go for the Knights or, or even Byzantine, but I think, I think nobody, I mean, we're not going to give them away for free. Nobody likes us enough to uh, to actually want wanting to buy because we're not going to give them away for free. Um, this 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 was annoying. I, actually, I just can warn you guys since we are going to take a uh, take on uh, the uh, the first part of this series, probably a few episodes, is going to be very much an, uh, a waiting game because we can't take the initiative and just attack them. We need to just just sit back and wait and wait and wait for uh, for uh, the right the right moment. So expect a lot of just uh, us looking for a strategically correct moment to attack them. Uh, but yeah, we really can't find anybody that wants our boats. Not surprisingly, we might need to uh, have to improve uh, relations and and so on. I'm not sure if it's going to be worth it. As I said. I would like to take take Cyprus because because uh, they are actually uh, um, that province is actually a part of a um, a state that we have, so we we really want them, which means we kind of want to maybe keep the boats at least at least the cogs, but maybe maybe all of them just to be able to if we get a moment. Usually, Mamluk stands up guaranteeing them and so on, and uh, that's of course not great news. But um, we'll have to do. Actually, we, we need we try to tell people that we are friendly, the Mamluks, because we are. If the Mamluks don't end up allying us, we are going to be in some serious trouble. I would say, like my whole plan for this kind of is counting on the Mamluks. If if that doesn't happen, we are. Oh, let's see. Nope. At first, I thought of maybe it's a war, but nope. Uh, we want to take on Dakadir, we want to take on basically all our neighbors, 
but we need to be very very careful here we need to play it safe we need to play it a little bit a little bit i wouldn't say cowardly but i would say i would call it wisely like uh if you're a military strategist uh, focusing on strategy, you don't attack when there's a risk of you losing. You wait until exactly the right moment. And of course, if, if we would have been a bigger, stronger nation, not um, sitting in, in in the lap of the Ottomans, I would have played a lot more aggressively. But we, we, we just need to... Uh, we don't want... Uh, as I said, we don't want them to attack us as uh, as their first target as soon as they can after the peace deal is up we need them to to uh to go against albania first um because if they go against us well you never know what happens but most likely is uh, this will be a very short series but we are getting claims now and that's good news ottoman has, has a light um they have gunning allies but nothing that we care too much about does anybody want our ships? Still nobody. Our oh, beautiful boats, guys. Well, what do you have against them? They are so fine. Um, so, so fine. But as I said also, we, we, we might keep them just because having them as a potential against Cyprus. We, um, we most definitely would like to take Cyprus if we can. I mean, we want to take every province that we can. We we need to stay smart though. And uh, as I said, this is the waiting game because uh, more or less every action we take is going to be based on on an action that that Ottomans takes uh, before us. So uh, most of the time, probably when we're going to go to go go to war will be when Ottoman goes to war against somebody else. Um, but um, right now, I mean, they, they should be going for Byzantine soon. They usually go for Byzantine ASAP. Kind of surprised that uh, this much time has passed without them uh, attacking Byzantine. But it need, it need to happen. Hopefully, it's probably going to happen soon, but now I'm going to be able to sell any boats. So uh, at least there's that. Uh, yeah, let's build, build spy networks. We we have the peace deal against the Ottomans, so hopefully, hopefully, we are going to the the perfect thing would be if you was able to take out uh, both our neighboring neighbors here before uh, our peace deal with Ottomans uh, goes out, because that would put us in a, in a lot stronger position. But look at this, Ottoman has creating claims. They have claims against every single province we have. Oh, this is great. This is brilliant news. Uh, Albania actually picked up a alliance with uh, Aragon. And that's that just made our plan even stronger. Because now if uh, the Ottomans attack Albania, they won't only get into war with, um, with Venice, uh, which we were counting on. They are going to get into war with um, with Aragon. That could make really, really good news for us. Really, really good news. But we are we are playing the waiting game. We are patient and um, yeah, not 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 the most action filled, sexy start here in the series, but it was to be expected. We knew that. Uh, it's going to be a lot of waiting game here in, in the first episode. And there it is. Ottoman has declared war against the Byzantine. But this is not the moment for us to strike. This is a war they're going to be in very easy. We, we need we need Albania. We need, oh my god. Imagine Ottoman fighting both Aragon and Venice when we backstab them. That would be brilliant. But uh, Mamluks, we need you to be our friends. And they are actually way of fighting Venice. That, that's not supposed to happen. That's not according to my plan. Not at all. Because that even means if Venice is busy with the Mamluks, we could find ourselves in a situation where uh, the Ottomans attacks uh, Albania and um, Venice doesn't join. And the Mamluks don't join us because they are busy fighting a war. This is actually really bad news. Now we might uh, end up having to put all our trust in, in Aragon instead. But um, maybe we can take on our one of our neighbors here while uh, that's that's another claim. Let's see here. It would be great if we could could do that. Uh, finally, yes, that's bingo. We have the alliance with the Mamluks. 
and we could also pick up one of the sunny fate things here uh yeah we can only select the merchant so i guess we're gonna do that and that reminds me i actually forgot to check out the merchants i don't think we are in range to uh to transfer any trade that would be valuable for us no we can't so i guess we just have to for now stick with collecting where where we can it won't give us much money but it would uh it will give us more money than we already have so yeah collect wherever we can Let, let's see here for from the finances see how they are affected when the tick comes let's see we're making 0 0.32 dockets and yeah small bump small bump uh, take everything we can because we are a poor nation still waiting let's see it's maybe maybe could it be worth going against the great horde no they are our allies we we don't want to break that for now maybe we could improve with the with the great horde and have them not join the war maybe that would be worth uh worth trying uh, knights want any ships no of course you can't buy any ships because you are in war same with the mamluks same with everybody everybody's at war but us but we are we are patient here it will it will be what we need maybe we could improve actually with aragon or uh, austria because they are the ottomans uh, rivals so does any of them want to become our friends of course we are a different uh, religion and we are very uh, weak so it's going to be tough but maybe maybe it's just worth oh actually aragon has picked up france as nine like too that could be bad news for castille if uh, if the Berian wedding don't fire but yeah let's improve with aragon and maybe yes maybe we uh, we get lucky uh probably not but uh you you never know with uh with this game what's uh, what's going to happen we uh, we need to focus border friction uh, let's see i would so like to go to war and take oh maybe this could be a moment here they had war with the timrids could could we abuse this one maybe could could be um an option that we have been looking for but um let's just move ahead in time here see pick up a mission trustworthy allies yeah we are great guys here and we are great guys we are the trustworthy uh allies i'm kind of kind of frustrated because i love to to conquer land and and, and grow in this game and uh i really want to attack somebody but right now the waiting game is the winner uh but we have mamluks on our side so they should be willing to join us the the moment we we try to go for automas let's see um nope 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 we we are we are a little bit cowards here i know but uh, maybe uh, if uh, if um the war against the uh, timrids goes bad there uh, so somebody doesn't join that war maybe that could that then could be worth it i think we could maybe try to improve with uh, with great horde to see if we can get them to not join the war because they love us more could uh, maybe be worth doing that ah i'm so i so much want to go to war here um i'm really really i mean it would be uh, fun if we could just go to our first goal goal our first war before this episode ends but uh, i'm not sure if that's going to happen and of course we want to take on the ottomans right now mom looks is not willing oh my gosh they are in depth that's bad they are actually doing pretty bad in their war i think so um, um we need to wait for the peace timer but clearly right now this could actually be really bad news for us if uh if uh, the Mamluks end up losing the war, being low on manpower and in debt and so on, because that could really affect our chances to bring them with us in into the war. But we are looking at every single potential here to sell ships, get allies or conquer land. Let's see. Could, yeah build spy network to be prepared when um, the possibility arrives 
Albania, Albania. I mean, that alliance with with Aragon is brilliant for us. It really changed everything. If because um, because I think Venice and Aragon together should be able to beat back uh, the Ottomans this early on, especially if um, Mamluks helps us backstab them while they are fighting them. That that should mean some serious trouble for for the Ottomans. And that's a people actually wow look at this they only took one province they only took their capital that's really weird because usually the Ottoman takes everything from Byzantine in the first war I didn't expect that at all let me think going to have to fight another one to conquer all that land uh, but yeah uh, that that's surprising now is the question will they go for us or will it go for somebody else? This could be a really designing moment. But I think I think that's it for the first episode. Thank you so much for joining us. Press that like button. Uh, subscribe if you aren't already. And I see you in the next episode.